Welcome to this eGrow plant diagnostic video. Hello, I'm Brian Whipker, Professor of Floriculture at NC State University. In this video, we will focus on pH disorders of poinsettias. So let's get started. To begin with, I would like to acknowledge the support of the Fred C. Glockner Foundation in helping to fund this project. pH. Poinsettias are classified in the general group of plants as far as optimal pH is concerned. They respond well to a pH range of 5.8 to 6.3. Low substrate pH conditions result in slow growth. High substrate pH conditions result in iron deficiency. We will be discussing recognizing pH-related symptoms and management steps to avoid problems in this video. As illustrated in this graphic, the optimal substrate pH for poinsettias is between 5.8 and 6.3. This maximizes the availability of both macro and micronutrients. This is especially important because poinsettias require a larger amount of molybdenum for optimal growth and at low pH ranges, its availability decreases. So what does occur if the substrate pH becomes too low or too high? In an experiment conducted at NC State University, we grew Viking poinsettias at three different substrate pH levels. At pH 2.9, the plants on the left are smaller and the color development is delayed. In contrast, plants grown at pH 4.7 and 6.0 were similar in size and had normal plant growth. At low pH, we did not observe any symptoms of leaf discoloration, such as lower leaf bronzing or black spotting, as one would expect with other plants when they're grown at pH levels below 5.0. Slow growth may be difficult to observe with poinsettias, which makes it important to conduct regular substrate pH tests to ensure that the pH values are within the optimal ranges. Now let's shift to the opposite end of the pH spectrum elevated values. Iron deficiency induced by high substrate pH values is common with poinsettias. Symptoms of iron deficiency is an intervenal chlorosis or yellowing between the veins of the upper leaves. Normally symptoms of intervenal chlorosis occur when the pH exceeds 6.5. Also note to take a look at the root system. Overwatering or root rot can also compromise the root's ability to uptake iron. With more severe symptoms, the upper foliage can turn a complete yellow. Now let's look at the location of intervenal chlorosis. Keep in mind that symptoms of both iron and manganese deficiency are similar. In both cases, the leaves exhibit intervenal chlorosis. The location of these symptoms will help you diagnose which problem is occurring. Iron deficiencies occur in the upper or younger leaves, so testing the substrate will help confirm your diagnosis. Also keep in mind that early magnesium deficiencies occur on the lower foliage. Late season deficiencies which occur after the bracts have formed can be confused though with iron deficiency because these deficiency symptoms can occur on the upper foliage. So usually a full substrate test and or tissue test is required to confirm a magnesium deficiency. So what can be done to prevent problems? If iron deficiencies do occur, First make sure though that the substrate pH is confirmed to be too high. If confirmed, the three iron type options are listed in the slide for lowering the substrate pH. Apply the corrective action and then rinse the foliage after application. Retest the substrate pH to confirm that it's within the acceptable range between 5.8 and 6.3. So what do you do if the substrate pH is too low? A product such as flowable lime will help increase the pH. Before you do so, make sure that the substrate pH is in fact too low. Apply the corrective action and then rinse the foliage after application. Also, retest the substrate pH to confirm that it's within the acceptable range between 5.8 and 6.3. In summary, the optimal substrate pH for poinsettias is between 5.8 and 6.3. Levels below 4.5 result in stunted growth. Levels above 6.5 result in high substrate-induced iron deficiency symptoms. But keep in mind, it's always a good idea to conduct a substrate lab test to confirm the pH values before taking corrective actions.